Hello from digitallife.gr. We have at hand the latest Nokia smartphone, which is Nokia Mi 9. We are very impressed by it. We are very impressed by the fact that it is a unibody polycarbonate um, device and a very, very sleek glass with curves, slightly curved. Uh, Nokia says it is Gorilla, so although you might be worried that you might scratch it because of the curves, uh, Nokia says that well, this is not the case. As far as the rest of the technical specifications are concerned, um, it will be available in 16 GB or 64 GB um, memory. The screen, as you see, is it has a 3.9 inch diameter, which is um, as far as we've learned so far, it will be the, di the diagonal that the, our new iPhone 5 will have. You can see that it has two cameras. One 8 megapixel one with a car's eyes lens, double flash, LED flash, and one at the front so that you will be able to do not FaceTime but video calls with your friends. It is the second phone in this world that will accept a micro SIM card. The first one was iPhone 4 of course and it will definitely be iPhone 5. Um, it runs in, in a single core processor on 1 GHz and it has 1 GB RAM. And its RAM, it is, and also the processor, it is what you need to take advantage of a very, very good operating system. MIGO it is. As you see, there are no physical buttons on the screen. So whatever you need to do with uh, this operating system, it is just a sweep away. You have a home screen that you decide how you, what kind of applications you wish to use. We have integrated in the home screen Twitter and Facebook. So uh, every time you visit your home screen, you always have the latest updates on the applications that you have integrated. Apart from that, um, you can use any kind of application you decide to and scroll through the application, swipe through the applications just like that. What we like about the Migo is that it is actually an operating system for dummies, meaning that everything is simplified, you can use it as you wish, and should you decide that you have forgotten what kind of applications you have run open, you can access them here, and should you decide that you don't want so many op uh, applications open, just decide to close one or close them all. Trying this phone, what we have done is we have tried to run simultaneously 36 different applications. It had no problem running them. No crashes, no nothing. So we are very, very happy about it. All in all, what we can say is that from the hours we have spent with this phone, we are very happy about it and we are very happy using it. Uh, both because we have um, push emails and generally we, we use our phones and it is so good, so well made that imagine that we, it can last up to two days of constant use. And um, apart from that, we are very happy about it because it doesn't seem to have any drawbacks as far as very hard usage is concerned. After all, it is a Nokia. And a Nokia phone means that a phone should do its initial business. Receive phone calls, be able to have a very good signal, so that the person using it can make phone calls, can hear properly, can talk properly. The speaker is exquisite, it's very, the sounds are very good and also they're receiving the voice that you hear from the end, other end of the line is also extremely good. As we said, we're very happy about it. It is a phone that we have enjoyed using all these days and we will definitely um, continue using. And we have the latest pricing from Nokia that says that it will be at 
599 the 16 gigabyte version and 699 euros the 64 gigabyte version. So this is it from digitallife.gr and how we have enjoyed Nokia N9.